Howdy! It's a cold and rainy day in November. I thought it'd be a good day to put a video on and uh, finally we'll get into some lathe work today here and several people have asked if I would put one on regarding uh, single point threading on the lathe so we'll do just that today and we're going to use the clausing 12 inch lathe. I know that many of you have other lathes but I might make reference to the South Bend several times but uh, this will be the focus of what we do today and we're going to cut a 5 8 diameter thread 11 threads per inch 11 is the pitch now there's about nine or ten things we need to do to set up the lathe uh, so that it's ready for threading and we'll go through those one at a time and every one of these is pretty important and don't be afraid to get out your South Bend how to run a lathe book or the other one uh, is put out by Atlas or any good textbook covers this as well. The first thing we'll do here is to set the quick change gearbox on the clausing and we're going to cut 11 threads per inch which on the dial here is right here 11 so that means that we we need to have the uh, sliding gear set at C or sliding gear in we need to have this knob set at C and I've already done as so and then uh, finally uh, number four on the tumbler which is right here so there are four things or three things to do to set the uh, quick change gearbox this is the sliding gear here it goes in and out and we're already in Now if you have uh, an older lathe and it doesn't have a quick change gearbox like this then you're going to have to set your uh, your gears manually and we're not going to go into that and that's no easy job but this is the Atlas Craftsman lathe here and it does have a quick change gearbox and to set 11 on here we simply put uh, this lever in A uh, in, uh, in A and then the other one would be set uh, in number four and I have not done that because I'm not going to use this lathe now you need to set your lathe headstock in back gears because we want to do this at the very slowest speed so use back gears I've already done that on the clausing and it's a knob and I've turned that uh, counterclockwise so it's in the in position that's in back gears and then the bull pin on this particular lathe is out here and I have uh, already disengaged that so that's done it's going to be a little bit different on your other mix of lathes now two things that you need to do here number one set your spindle speed at the very slowest speed this is a variable speed drive on the clausing so that's real easy to do and secondly set your feed reverse lever in the uh, bottom position here which will allow the feeding to take place toward the headstock here's the apron of the carriage on the clausing lathe and for threading there is no feed change lever you just have this in the middle position and then your half nut lever is ready to be used and it's, it's kind of the same on an atlas lathe but uh, I actually like it better on the South Bend lathe here's a carriage apron from a South Bend lathe and you always put that in the middle position for threading otherwise the half knot lever is not activated remember when you thread and you're using the half knot lever you have a positive drive if you crash the lathe you're going to damage something it's not a clutch that can slip and looking on the back side of this carriage, and this is covered in one of my other videos, the half nut lever is here, or some people call it the split nut, but that simply opens and closes around the thread, and uh, that's what gives it such a positive drive. And by the thread, I mean the thread on the lead screw. Next, we set the compound, this is the lathe compound, off to the right slightly in the 29 degree position. Now I'm not going to be able to show that to you on this video. It's way in the front here and it's very small but it needs to be set at 29 degrees and that in fact is one degree less than half of 60. I'm not going to go into why we do that. Uh, look it up in the book if you want to. Some people will say set it at 30 
but most often we set it at 29 so make sure you have that done okay now we're setting up the uh, tool and get ready, getting ready to thread I have mounted the tool in this gooseneck holder which is one of my favorites I showed that in the other video and I have ground a 60 degree threading tool so it's ready to go it's mounted in the tool tightly this is clamped down tight and I have checked the height you must be on center that is and I've moved that up to the center so you can show that I'm the correct height and now that particular uh, uh, feature is ready to go if you got everything clamped down good then uh, move this up close to the work and we're going to set it with the center gauge and crank that out just a little bit and what I do with my center gauge, here's my center gauge this one has the little v-block attachment on the back which is my favorite and we'll take that over and hold it onto your work like that and bring the tool up I'm holding the camera with one hand so I can't do that but bring the tool up until it is in one of these little v's here and then that'll show you that you are truly perpendicular to the work if you aren't perpendicular to the work all of your thread ge geometry will be off and uh, all will be for naught so that's the purpose of this little center gauge okay uh, the final step or this isn't even a step but the final thing I'm going to mention here is that I have uh, cut an undercut this is the piece we're going to thread right here just this end up to the undercut now the reason for the undercut is that gives you a good place to terminate the thread we're going to get about one inch of thread and that's all we need for the demonstration but the thread could be three feet long if your lathe is long enough but we'll make a short one and remember this might take 15 20 25 passes because we're cutting just a little bit on each pass but when we when our threading tool comes up into the uh, undercut here then we can just throw the half nut lever off and no damage can be done then we will back it out and uh, come over to the starting point and do the same thing again and again and again all right next in preparation for the actual threading bring the tool up close to the work almost touching then when you come back down here set the cross feed to zero now I always crank it out and then back it in and then back in that eliminates the the backlash in the screw and we've got it set for zero and we're going to do that with every pass that's our reference point we are never really feeding with the cross feed we're doing all of our feeding with the compound again never back this out we're only going forward with this toward the work those are important little points too you know any one of these uh, little things I'm telling you here if you don't do it properly um, you will have trouble this is not an easy operation especially if you're a neophyte all right this is the thread chasing dial do make sure that it's in contact with the lead screw and rotates uh, correctly some people swing these uh, by loosening this up swing it out of the way to prevent wear on it because you're not using it all that often but on the top of the thread chasing dial you're going to see numbers hope they show up there's numbers and there's lines and then there's an index or witness mark up here and it's important that uh, for even number of threads you can catch this on any number or any line for odd numbers of threads such as what we're doing with 11 threads per inch catch it only on the numbers or only on the lines but let's uh, for our uh, sake here just catch it on any number also if you were uh, threading some morphodite size that was like seven and a half if you got a fraction in there catch it only on the same number uh, for instance always catch it on a one or always catch it on a two or you'll get a cross thread okay I believe I've covered all of the main points in preparation for threading this may have seemed uh, long and arduous but in fact this can all be done in two or three minutes and other than grinding of the tool and then it's ready to go and uh, with that said this is Tubal Cain saying, saying I will see you on the second half of this video for the actual threading <laughs>